So uh, after the movies, uh, you uh, end up. Uh, you could go straight to your airship if you so desire, or there could be a party that uh, an after party that I have not planned anything out for. But uh, I will let you what? make that call. There was absolutely a healing Coda backup after party. <laughs> yeah, Coda needed some healing. Um, yes. So, in theory, we'd want to, like, go get Amber right away, but I don't know if we kind of want to sideline that because um, Chara's not here tonight. And, you know, that's her her lady friend. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, we should definitely have, like, you know, there's definitely going to be an after party. Um, and I guess since Char's not here tonight, we could go to it and then get amber next session yeah that works uh the mahoney person will let you know like it's gonna take a little bit of time to, to figure out where she is oh okay yeah yeah we can say that they're tracking her down from the people they gave her to yep sounds good, good. perfect in that case uh because Schedule wise, uh there was going there was going to be two other votes originally uh before this session, so I put all of Nemi's family away. <laughs> so I just gotta bring them Oops. back out. <laughs> My family, no. Bonbon bon can come to the after party, but she can't stay up too late. Oh, but I really want to, please. I promise I won't have too much alcohol. That's mom and mama's <laughs> choice, not ours. <laughs> and I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not going to cross my, my mom's, no. Uh, yeah, I would never cross Nemi's mom's, having met them once already. Nemi's mom ne is going to... Uh, just be like, well, okay, you can stay up a little bit, but we're going to put you uh, in bed by, uh, let's say, 11. And Bonbon's going to cheer up until Mama says, and no alcohol. Switch Bonbon's going to pout. And then she's going to go to Nemi. Nemi? Yes, Bomba. Can I have a little bit of the alcohol you have? I don't have any alcohol. What you? What? You don't see Bomba? I mean, yeah, but like, it's uh, adult things, right? I don't know. Some some things just because they're adult doesn't make them good. Oh. I, I tried to drink once and it, it was a lot more than I thought it would be and it made me feel kind of bad after and so I don't I don't, I don't really want to play around with those things anymore. Oh no, drinking but can you make know, you feel bad? It can, but you know what doesn't make you feel bad? What? Sparkly apple juice. <gasps> I love sparkly apple juice. And they have some right over there. <gasps> so do they have chalky milk too? I'm sure they do if you ask. Yay! If you ask and you put on your, your biggest, sweetest, may I please face, they will absolutely get it for you. She's already off running to get some chalky milk and sparkly apple juice. <laughs> Man, I'm just thinking of her drinking both of those at the same time. <laughs> she's like, what? I like, she's a kid. Maybe her tummy will hurt for like five minutes and then she'll be fine. <laughs> it's true. She's definitely going to mix them into the same cup. Oh. <laughs> Triple to apple juice. Oh, well, yeah. I bet you would have really the connoisseur here on drink. That's triple the chalky milk, double the sparkling apple. 
there so we that's go. triple Sorry. the chalky milk and double the sparkling apple juice. <laughs> thank you, you Morat. That good jokes. Good, I love that one. I had to do it. Ah, oh, it was right there. You just had to. So, Beeg's going to come over, give each of you a big hug. It's like ah. Oh, I'm just, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for taking me out of retirement so that we could do this. Yeah, absolutely. Cody's going to hand him a drink. I don't know if he drinks, but... Hey! Yeah, he uh, he partakes in a little bit. Heck yeah. See, I was imagining being like, no, no, I got my chalky milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this kid gosh. just gave me this chalky milk sparkling apple juice beverage. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Dang, I should have thought of that. That I like that a lot better. <laughs> well, you know what? It happened. <laughs> Retcon. That's exactly how Retcon. it happened. You're, you're the GM. Yeah, that's true. This is our game. It could be anything mm -hmm. we want. So Big uh, turns down the alcohol as he holds up this weird. Ah, uh, it's it's. I don't know it's how disgusting. to describe it since it's a mixture of like fizzy but oh. also thick a uh, bubbling swamp water yeah <laughs> that's a good way to put it carbonated brown Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Just visualizing it is so unpleasant it is i love chocolate milk <laughs> these are two great things separately uh, but yeah, so even more amazing together. <laughs> you know, now I'm curious. I might want to try this after the stream. <laughs> it's okay. Just ask <laughs> I don't think you should. You probably already tried. I'll but let you, you should, all know how it is. You should definitely have it be a new like craze in the world, though. Oh yes, yes, I like I, it. I'm just saying that there's above zero percent chance that US has already tried this. So that's fair. <laughs> Fair, yeah. I mean, I can always ask during its mission. Uh, so yeah, uh, to anybody that's not Bon Bon, this looks pretty nasty. But Big's just having a good time drinking it. So, what kind of uh, what kind of stuff do you four want to get up to after this? Like, uh, do you have any? I know you said you were all hunters. Do you have any specific uh, missions or things that you want to do? Well, we just um, we just scouted for for a hunt for a nidhog. You ever heard of this oh. thing? Oh yeah, classic giant snake. Yep. Yep. Every so often they come around. It's uh, actually a couple of kilometers south of my place. Yep. Yeah, we were we were out there. Uh, just a couple days ago. Oh, nice. Big, nice. big thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they can definitely get anywhere between like 20 to 40 feet. I'm so excited. Yeah? But, uh, you know. Yeah, we got a, we got a bunch of jobs uh, to do. My uh, my organization. Yeah? The jackets is, is coming up doing really good stuff yeah the jackets they were the ones that uh you recruited those uh thieves to uh the organization yep yep i mean they also did all the street team work for the movie they did yeah yeah oh i was wondering why there were so many people i heard that the funding was for uh for promotion would completely flopped and uh then whole theater was almost sold out so like that was surprising yeah, you, you know how it is you can't leave everything up to the studio am i right i mean i guess that is kind of literally their jobs but uh yeah <laughs> sometimes you gotta do your own word of mouth hey it worked <laughs> so, you know, we, we might have a, a future in this business. Who knows? Hey, who knows? 
and make lots of more movies in the future. Yeah, if uh, I'll let I'll let you know how. Uh, I, I I mean, Gans the uh, your uh, your uh, the lead for your group and and your uh, uh, spacing on the name, person of contacts for uh, shows. Not yep, yep. recruiter agent. Agent. agent, yeah. Thank you. Is at this point, Bonbon is going to run back to Nami with a big glass of sparkly chalky milk, and is kind of like pushing it up towards her to try some. Wow, Bonbon, that looks really gross. Yeah, I know. You should have some. I don't know if I should. I guess I'll take a little sip. Peer pressure. Uh, gosh. Uh, do can, you can care? What? Can I roll for how bad it is? Yeah, I was gonna ask if you care to like it or not any particular way, or if you want to leave it up to chance. Con check to see if it, you know, <laughs> literally how well literally it down. <laughs> You know, not bad. This one needs maybe a little bit more chalky milk, but you got something good here. <gasps> you mean it? I mean it. Okay, I'll be right back. And she runs off. <laughs> you have to perfect the ratio. <laughs> we have created a monster. She's going to be a so bartender when she grows up. So Franklin, move over. New bartenders in town. <laughs> You won't even be able to see her behind the bar. <laughs> just a drink just comes up. <laughs> with a little tiny hand. Either that or she has to use her rings to get to any of the shelves. Not just the top shelf, but any of the bar shelves. Oh no, that's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> she runs back uh, and hands you a glass. How's it now? Perfect. This is perfect. Yay. I also got a couple more. And uh, she opens her... Uh, she She's handing them out. Yeah. She she uh, opens uh, her little skirt thing to show off that she has a bunch of the glasses, like, cupped in the divot of the front of her outfit. And, she's handing, and she hands one to Tear. Okay. I love this kid so much. And she runs over to hand one to Coda. Hey! <laughs> um, here's, uh... Not enjoying... Yeah, Nemi doesn't actually have the best taste in things. <laughs> Is that bad enough of a check that I need to see whether I spit it out? Uh, role play I mean, at your own risk. I would say either, I would role, say either role, role play it at your own risk or roll an etiquette. Ah, okay. I actually have some of that, so I'll probably fail it. Okay. Uh, since it is in front of a kid, uh, give yourself a plus 20. <laughs> Well, I'm also assuming that Bonbon's too busy and not just waiting for every single person to drink and she's moving on to the next person. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, good point. Uh, plus 30 with your etiquette. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bonbon will remember this. <laughs> uh, uh, um, That's a choice. Uh-huh. That's... I mean, to be fair, Tyr has very sophisticated taste when it comes to drinks, because, like, whenever you're going to sit there and philosophize in the library, you're going to have some good alcohol. It's funny you say that, because I was Nemi was going to say, you just don't have a sophisticated oh. enough palate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said that. You could still say it. That makes it oh, funnier. I absolutely said it. 
Maybe you would say that. Um, Peter is not gonna argue because it's about a kid's drink. <laughs> I will. I take the L. <laughs> <laughs> Bombard's going to rush over and be like, "You made it. Like, it is a choice. Do you, like a choice. Like you want more? I can get you more." Um, I, I just off. didn't want to uh, to make it to where other people don't get this fine concoction you have made. Bonbon's way faster than you. <laughs> yeah. You you were probably like a fourth of the way through that when she's already at the table to make you more. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Tears known for his hastiness, so like, you know, yeah. make it. It's all right. Code is a almost a literal garbage disposal. So you can pass it to them. <laughs> Bonbon's not looking. <laughs> Like, when did we install that tree inside of Coda? Just, just beat it to the tree. It's fine. <laughs> Do you pass it off to Coda? Yes. Yeah. I'm not finishing that thing. Are you kidding me? Because <laughs> she does run back, sees that you're done with your drink. It's like, oh, you loved it that much? I just... Here you go. <laughs> and she gives you another one. I just he he takes it. He's not happy about taking it, but he takes it. I'll, I'll take it off your hands as soon as she runs off, because she's a kid. It's like the weather. Just wait a few minutes. She's gone. And she's gone. Here you go. <laughs> she hands uh, another one to Big, and then starts making airplane. Like spreads out her wings and her arms to make a. Uh, airship noises as she runs off. <laughs> Delightful. Kid's adorable. She's, uh, your sister? Yeah, she's my little sister. Well? I don't know what she's gonna do, but whatever she does one day, she's gonna do it real well. She could get into acting. She has. She's a real people pleaser. She wants to make sure everyone's happy. It looks like. Well, that's <laughs> that's when she's getting her way. Oh. <laughs> she is a little sister. Mm. You know. I uh I never had a little sister, but I've acted like I've had one. In a previous movie, Big Mondo versus the Giant Ant. Uh, and, uh. That's spelled A U N T. Yes. You know the one. Yeah. That was uh, a wild one. Oh, yeah. I, I acted that I had a little sister and a little cousin. Oof. Oof. It was probably more wrangling than with the giant crab we just watched. <laughs> I bet, I bet, but I, you know, I love those movies that are about family, right? In the in the end, they're they're so touching. I, yeah, I never had a family outside my organization. You know, they're they're all my brothers and sisters and siblings. That that's a lot of brothers and sisters and siblings. Yeah, you know, making up for lost time. Yeah. But, hey, so can us in the industry, and so is everyone here. Mm-hmm. About time they woke up and saw the, uh, the future of cinema. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for what you all have for what's in store. Is at this point that, uh, mm, it was a good icon. I am scrolling through a bunch of my icons, and uh, none of them are ones that I want to bring out yet. 
Yet in the figurative term, they they come out in like years. Uh, but someone <laughs> comes out. Uh, uh, Hume uh, taps on Big's shoulder. He's like, "Hey, uh, Big, Ma- uh, Mister Mondo. Uh, there's a there's a thing that we need you to attend to. This is signing specifically for you. It's like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, do you all mind if I go take care of this? Not at all. Go have fun, Mr. Big. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. And uh, if I don't see you tonight, I'll probably go back to my place and you know how to find me. We absolutely do. And we will. Nay. Perfect. I'll see you around, everybody. Big Mondo, ladies and gentlemen. And Coda starts an applause train. Yay. And... That's our star. Everyone in the uh, at the after party starts clapping for Big Mondo as he uh, leaves the room. I'm assuming Char is doing all kinds of wheeling and dealing for us uh, during all of this. Oh, probably. Yeah. By wheeling and dealing, what exactly do you mean? Setting up our next projects. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, she's about moseying, talking to people. Acting as our agent. <laughs> she is your agent, yes. Uh is there anything specific you'd like to do at the party? Anyone uh in particular that or I mean, anyone that in particular you'd like to see either by title or by name. Coda's probably going to ch- check in on the, uh, the jackets and Gwen. See how they're all doing. Okay. Because they all, they all get into the party, too. It's true. Well, based off of our premiere size... Would it be something fancy enough that anybody from, like, the gambling den might have come to see? Oh. Since somebody conveniently has a nice long list of all those names. That's true. Why don't you roll me an awareness since you're specifically looking out for anyone that you saw there? I assume no mod. No modifier. No, I don't see shit. I'm nope, too you di- don't. I'm covering <laughs> some of the chalky milk and juice. Uh, you think you might have uh, drank a little too much of the sparkly chalky milk juice, which is a gulp, and you could be in a corner, you could be in the bathroom. I'll let you decide. Uh, <laughs> what I want it to be is I want it to be off of a balcony. Hey, off of a balcony works, or just outside. Uh, I didn't decide if this was going to be on the first floor or higher. Eh, we'll say higher, why not? Yeah, you could be outside on the balcony. Oh, then I uh, am conveniently uh, looking off the edge and... Uh... Some other stuff might be, uh, might be happening. You know, I'm going to make the con check, the generic con check to see if I'm going to actually, or if I'm just feeling like I'm going to. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, give yourself a plus 40 with that con check. Okay, I'm not doing it, but I'm, oof, I'm not feeling so hot. You needed that fresh air. If you didn't have that fresh air... Probably, but fresh air feels nice. And tears fanning himself off. <laughs> uh, Nemi, what are you going to be doing? I'll probably be just spending time with my family. Nothing really super important. So, if you want to focus on someone else's thing, that's fine. Okay. 
Uh, she hasn't seen her family in a while, so she's going to want to spend time with them. But yeah, just that's... hanging out. That's fair. Uh, in this oh. case, I am going to bring Gwen out. Uh, who's going to cheer as Coda comes closer. There's a bunch of other jackets uh, hanging out uh, at the side of the uh, drink table. They're like, Coda, 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 Coda. Jackets, jackets, jackets. And they all cheer when you get here. Woo! You that guys know we couldn't have done this without you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was such an amazing show. Team. It's did so good. It was such a good movie, right? It, it was an amazing movie. Like, I, we knew that you had acting capabilities from, obviously, of all the time we've spent around you. But, like, holy crap. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in something that I didn't believe in. Right? And, whew, good point believing in that. It's a masterpiece. Absolutely fantastic. Might have been, might have been a little too, uh, a little, uh, might be a little cliche for Matt over here, but you know, he doesn't have good taste. No, just the worst taste. Yeah. It's all right. Terrible. So, yeah, you, uh. How about those Mahonies, huh? <laughs> Man, you, uh, whew, you, uh. Just, what almost, a sack of chumps, huh? Right? They tried, they tried to just do a plain old robbery because they're so desperate for funds because the whole just big desperate. boss just literally blew up. Oh. Everything. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, there's a movie in that somewhere, huh? Right? Right? You could probably make an entire Honey, show the off boss. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, be real. How cathartic. Who, who wouldn't love going to see a movie where the boss blows up? Everyone uh, hates their boss. I, 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 know I know exactly what you're talking about. It's that, That's why we have a parallel structure, so that we can be more even. Be more honest with yeah. each other. Absolutely. Everybody everybody carries their own weight. We all support each other. Right? While you were uh, on stage back there, well, after, well, well, it took a little bit on stage. Uh, well, everyone was giving you congrats. Uh, the rest of us were uh, kind of introducing our new recruits, shall we say, to the going down, the business of the jackets. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, it's all right to haze them a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't want to make them antagonistic, but definitely want to rub their nose in it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It, it all comes down to, at the end, making them realize what a good decision they uh they made switching sides right right honestly best decision of their lives probably yeah so i have some news oh. uh one of the jackets came up to you afterwards told you that they did a little kidnapping uh the mahonies yeah the mahonies yeah they uh, handed off, apparently, someone has it out for your group. Mm-hmm. So, the, the Mahoney's were uh, hired to kidnap someone from, uh, from your boat so that... Uh, they could get some information. Yeah, Amber. Ganster. Yeah, yeah. Fellow Gria. 
they they didn't ask too much, unfortunately, of what that meant, of what exactly the information they needed to get was, but apparently they need something out of her or out of you or something. I don't know. Yeah, so they said they were going to help us track her down. Yeah. Uh, they handed her off to uh, a mysterious group. Uh, they did get a name of uh, Clayhanger. I don't know if that Clay rings a bell to, anybody, to, to you or anything. No, I don't think I remember anyone with that name. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, they were trying to find whoever this clay hanger guy is. And uh, once they have more information, going to make sure that we can pass it on to you. Uh, with the consolidation, turns out Mahoney Gang had a complex long distance communicator. Hey! So you know who we can call? You know who you yeah. can call? Yeah! We got each other's number! Oh, that's fantastic! Yeah, so if We're you're ever in business, in range, finally! Right? If you're ever in range, just let us know. Will do. Yeah. So, what... what are any plans after this? Oh, I mean, we gotta we gotta track down Amber, but um, we got a we got a couple of jobs. Uh, Gwen, you gave me something to do for Lady Mitsuno. Yep, down yep. in um, Milan. Milan, yes. And uh, you know, we're probably gonna go visit Nemi's family. Uh, you know, we got a we got an HGTV episode coming out. We're gonna watch it with them. Yeah, you know, I did get to, I do have a friend at the guild, did snatch a little bit of records. Uh, that record, that episode should be coming out soon. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're here. Yeah. <coughs> just, just, just doing a little, a little, a little tease, you know, maybe in like, mm -hmm. uh, before the end of the week, kind of soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, might be time. Right? Hmm? Unless, how long were her, were her, was her family staying here? Uh, Are they going to be here at the end of the week? What was that? Are they still going to be here at the end of the week? Uh, there wasn't a set timeline that they said. <laughs> Because maybe we can work that out. Because yeah. I know we have a couple things that we still need to do in town before we go out to where they live. That's true. Hey, if that works out, that's great. Great. I love. I lo I'm glad I could help. Code is going to call Nemi over. Yeah. Hey, Nemi. Yeah. Sounds like uh, our HGTV episode is up uh, sometime in the next week. Ooh. So if your family's still here, we can just watch it together. Yes. Mom? Mama, did you hear that? The episode's gonna be the end of the week. Or in like a week. Oh, is that so? Moms are gonna come on over. Uh, I didn't mention it, but Bon Bon is wrapped around one of your legs as you walked over. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that uh, they're that uh, they're finally they're finally revealing that episode. You you worked hard and you're gonna show off as a as a big strong hunter, make your family proud. All of your aunts and uncles and cousins, they're gonna be so jealous of you. I 
just want you all to be proud of us. Oh, we're definitely proud. Thanks, moms. Yeah, you're welcome. They come in to give you a big hug. And then they muddle over like, oh, if only your grandpa accepted anyone that didn't ex finish the right. Ugh. I know. You'll get there. But hey, we have faith in you because you're our daughter. You and Nemi. i Nemi. I can do it. Yeah. When it comes to hunting monsters, you can do anything. I learn from the best. Ah, you're great. You're great at learning. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the disadvantage that makes you bad at learning? No. Oh, okay. I just would never classify Nemi as good at learning. Well, I mean, when it comes to hunting monsters... Uh... That's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> she is a tool honed for one purpose. And she is great at it. That's picking Bon Bon up and putting her on her shoulders. <laughs> 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 Running around with her and going zoom. Wee! Faster, Nemi, faster! Look, we both have to beat our wings. We're gonna go fast. Okay. And she. Flap, 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 And they fly off into the sky and they're never <laughs> seen again. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Your mom is just going to smile at you. Oh, they're used uh, to it, I'm sure. Yep. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. If if Nemi flies, can Coda mimic that? Coda does not have wings, so no. Okay. You know, that can be I have to use my like, key points for it. All right. Uh. We're going to get Coda pack so he can fly too. Heck yeah. Jet pack I mean, Coda. That would count Look as... For it. Season 7. That would count as a gadget and Evilise. Could Jet packs be an Evilise? Maybe. I mean, they're kind of more high fantasy-ish. I mean, there at least we can create some fake wings. That's true. You can f create fake wings. All mm -hmm. we have to do is go to the mountains. And then I can make us all fly. Sort of. Wait, fly or float? <laughs> float. Okay. That's why I said sort of at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, distinction being that... Uh, with flight, you can move up up any vertical uh, yes. on the battlefield. Uh, if it's a battle. Mm. But. And then you have Tyr the uh, wet blanket who can undo flight. That's true. You can undo flight. Wait, flight or float? Yes. You can undo yeah. flight? Uh, it's, yeah, the tracker or whatever spell I have cancels out flight and float. Which spell is this? Uh, it's tracker, tracer, or something like that. I, I, I have it on my list. Well, I hope you won't do that to Nemi. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying I can. Oh, Imagine if you just... did it well oh. and float on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that does cancel out float and flight. And oh. it cancels natural float and flight for a certain period of time as well. Mm. Point this out to the GM. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I thought that was just float. Oh. No. Yep, that's a level one spell. Oh. 
I was keeping that in my back pocket, and now it's probably more likely to show up for us, so I can actually use it against something. Yeah. God, I can think of all the funny things you can do with that. Uh-huh. Isn't it oh. great? Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to limit the number of cliffs in battle maps. <laughs> oh, just let Tyr do his things. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying absolutely cancel them out. Just limit them. <laughs> Whew. Oh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, we're not going to be in any mountain combats. Shit. <laughs> I mean, if I'll anything, I'll pro. Else. What? So I'll just have to take something else. <laughs> I mean, if anything, I'll I'll most likely forget. Yeah, maybe uh, season, like second half of season four or later, and then I'll pull it out again. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely forget by then. But, and then I get to point to this episode and be like, I told you about it. There's no there's no surprise here. It's true. Yeah. The whole realization will happen one more time. And then <laughs> you'll learn whenever it actually happens in combat. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Well. Great. Uh... After a little bit, Nemi's mama and mom are going to uh, have to stop you, Nemi. And be like, all right, it's 11. You can, can keep partying, bon bon. but Bonbon bon has to go. It's sleepy times. Night, Bonbon. Bon. I don't, Nemi, I don't want to go. I'm busy having fun with you and everyone else. Look, kid. I love you, but I'm not going to cross the parents. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, take Bon Bon off of your shoulder. Oh. Well, I'll give Bon Bon a big smooch. Aww. Well, good, because if you didn't, she was about to start screaming. Oh, no. But you, you do calm her down. She's like, Fine. Do I get to see you tomorrow at least? I we'll never get to see you anymore since you're on your big journey. I think we'll see them tomorrow. Well, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will definitely see you the day after that. Okay. Promise? As much as I can. Oh, yay! Yay! They start walking off, Bones like, do you hear that? Nemi promised that she'll see me tomorrow. <laughs> in the morning, 6 a.m. Yay! Yay! Well, Nemi doesn't care. Nemi gets up that early. Yeah. Uh, your moms are going to immediately be like, you're, you're not even going to be awake at 6. You never, you don't even wake up till 10 unless we make you. Me? No, to Bonbon. Bon. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Yeah, no. Bonbon bon is notorious for sleeping in. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, she seems like it. Yeah, sometimes. Other times I she'll see. wake up at like 5 a.m. and force everyone else to wake up. Especially after staying up until 11. <laughs> She's going to conk out so hard. Yeah. After all that, all that uh, chalky, bubbly stuff. Yeah. She had way too much sugar in that chalky milk. The chalky milk crash. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Gets it, gets it every time. Mm hmm. Well, how content are you all with this party? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to role play. Mm, I think I'm good. Talk? No, Nemi's family's gone, so she's probably pretty okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Like, I'm tired. 
I shall to bed. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any other role plays or points to bring up for this party. Uh, uh, but how late do you all want to stay up for it? Oh, Code is going to stay up. Code is going to party till dawn, essentially. As long as you can until they kick you out. Well, they kick us out and then we go to the Jackets headquarters and continue partying. Yeah! Perfect. Perfect. Tyr is going to join Coda in this endeavor. All right. All right. Maybe he's probably going to go back to the ship and go to bed. I'm sure Gan would probably stay up and party. All right. Perfect. <laughs> in that case, uh, Gan, Coda, Tuzagard, uh, you all go back with Gwen uh, at like. Uh, I want to say like 3 a.m. when the after party ends for the after after party. Yeah. After 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 party. Well, there will be harder drinks, uh, including a, a full par. Uh, yup. For anyone that wants to partake. Mm, no. Though, uh, Tyr will happily take some of the fancier alcohols. Hey. They'll just let They're you just... take it. Yeah, it's, it's our party. <laughs> <laughs> our party at our place. All right. Be with the band, so to speak. Um, after getting about a drink and a half in, you're probably going to start uh, talking to whoever will listen about his philosophies on uh, the origins of time magic and how it's the uh, Ouroboros that brings you back to the original point. I'm not sure how many people would be willing to listen to him, but he will talk anybody's ear off about it. I think you can get one person that will listen to you talk about the Ouroboros. Whether they're looking for an out the entire conversation or not is an entirely different story, but you're able to talk that their ear like, off. That sounds you know, like Matt with the bad taste. Maybe one of the jackets wants to become a mage. You don't know. Actually, you would know, but you know, you wouldn't know. You're right. Yeah, uh, the, the, there's only one person you can grab uh, to talk about that. Uh, hmm. Do they Can got it right? That with the bad taste. Yeah. What is a good role for this? I'm curious to see if Tyr would recognize as a social skill. Uh, maybe it'll be a social skill? Maybe it'll just be awareness. Yeah, uh, roll me an awareness with no modifiers. I fucking know. Oh, yeah. As you were talking to this person, he is obviously like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And, like, looking to the side, seeing everyone else, like, partying and uh, doing... Coder's like, got a big... Coder's got a big group around them uh, and is currently talking about this whole cinematic universe that they're envisioning. This person that Tears of God is talking to is very invested. It looks like they want to be a lot more invested in what Coda is saying and talking about, but doesn't want to appear as, uh, doesn't want to appear, uh, uh, mean to Tears of God. And they're gonna nod along, uh, as he talks. Well, also, them. Them going over into the Matt going over into the cinematic universe discussion 
would be an admission that uh, the movie was actually pretty good. And that it deserves to have a whole cinematic universe built around it. Yeah, as you were describing the uh, cinematic universe, uh, that is the part that grabs his attention. He just likes cinematic universes. It could be of any quality. <laughs> it could be uh, th all like the worst B movie cinematic universes. Uh, he would be invested. <laughs> <laughs> uh Tyr, are you going to uh uh switch topics or just keep on talking about Ouroboros while he's just smiling and nodding? Um Tyr is going to start talking about how to incorporate the Ouroboros into the cinematic universe. And how uh, time travel in parallel universes is how all these big Mondo movies interconnect. And now he's going full, like, crazy conspiracy theory. Oh, you got his attention now. <laughs> he is invested in how everything connects. Granted... Here isn't the most connoisseur of Big Mondo movies. He at least knows enough of them because of his time working with Big Mondo to know of the different like major plot points and how they can string all those together. Mm. Sounds like Tyr needs to go through Master Tay's movie archive. Forbidden movie archive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, so that'll be the after after party where everyone's uh, either paying attention to Koda or Tears of Guard about uh, the possible cinematic movie universe of Big Mondo yeah until everyone crashes I'm assuming it'll be way too late for everyone to get back to the airship oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah probably <laughs> so Nemi you wake up on uh, the bold <laughs> all by yourself uh, Nemi's gonna recreate uh, the scene from Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Are yeah. you using yeah. shaving cream and uh, or aftershaves in a mirror? I mean, does anyone have any? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm. I guess there's a chance that Tear might? Maybe? She's definitely going to jump on the bed. And go through everyone's things. Except Gans. She's not gonna go through Gans' things. <laughs> I feel like maybe we get so bored with Tears' things. Possibly. She will also get very antsy. Wait, do we do we still have like the, the short range communicators? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh she's gonna start calling Coda. Question Koda. is finally awake. Go to does go to sleep. Nemi. Go to where are you guys? Nemi. Koda, it's morning. Party. Are you all there? Woo. Where where are you? Over here. The party. Are you? Where are you? I'm with the ship. Oh, that's how you got inside this funny rock. Y'all didn't come home. It's a communicator. It's not a rock. I mean, it might be a rock. I don't know. But y'all didn't come home. Coda, quiet down. <laughs> no, it's Nemi. Nemi's, Nemi's going to start calling tear on his. 
Tier. 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 Cody's going to start calling Tier in the room. Tier. 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 Tier puts the short range communicator underneath his pillow to muffle it. What are you doing, kiddo? You want to get breakfast or something? Well, yeah. Don't we have things to do? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Oh. You should really go to sleep earlier. <laughs> mm, I'll sleep when I'm dead and then should, wake up when I get Phoenix down. Should I come to you or are you going to come back to the ship? No, I'll come into town and we'll go out for a breakfast. Okay. I know a spot. Uh, are you still at the same space where you went to somewhere else when Nemi left? So she doesn't actually know where you are. We're at the Jacket's <laughs> Place. Jacket's Place. Party HQ, you've been there before. Okay, I'll be there. And she just immediately stops talking. <laughs> and heads out. Uh, Question, QB. Yeah. Do do people in Ivalice eat Chocobo? Uh, since Chocobo are akin to horses, no. Okay. So there wouldn't be, like, a Chocobo and Waffles place. No, there wouldn't be a Chocobo and Waffles place. There is a Cockatrice and Waffles place, though. Yeah! That's where we're going. Yeah, have you seen a Cockatrice in uh, Final Fantasy Twelve and Tactics nope. Advance? Nope. Uh... Are we about to? Yes. I don't have food. this uploaded as a sprite because this is uh, several tiers above where you're at. <laughs> uh, let's see. Was this tier three or four? Three. There we go. Well, so. Coda lets Nemi know over the communicator where we're meeting. So in Ivalice, a cockatrice is just a big round burb. Yeah. Big old fluff ball. I uh, want that on my waffles. They're pretty dang tasty. Uh, I do have a question for Nemi, though, because you were going through people's stuff. Uh just kind of idly, not like actually searching for things. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Uh, where is stories? Stories. What does Nami <laughs> like? Uh, all right. Adventure so stories. you read that you like adventure stories. You don't like romance romance novels. Uh. How would you feel about the finding the equivalent of a uh, first edition uh, Frankenstein novel in Tears of Guard's possession? Probably not so caring about the first edition, but intrigued. Do you open it up at all? Probably, yeah. Uh, you find that there are... Uh, curved lines and scrawlings in between the margins. Uh, roll an awareness with them. Alright, they look fancy. And, uh... Do you have Galtian as a language? I absolutely do not. In that case, uh... The writings, uh... That are in between the margins and in between the lines, they look funny. The scrawl... The scrawlings? They look weird and funny. 
So it's that's like it. Finding finding a book in French when you don't speak French. It's like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. And then you have a uh, funny looking uh, extra French between all of the French writing. So that's well, it. Well, this is boring. <laughs> Just raise that too. I still. Think. My awareness rolls are always so bad. <laughs> it's like it's like roll twenty's like no nah, no nah, I know your character better than you. You don't see shit. I would like to point out that you can go to the tier school of languages and get any language that you want up to twenty. Well, I'll be sure to point out to tier that I've gone through stuff and I want to learn <laughs> the writing that I read in this book. Without his knowledge. I, I'm sure that'd be fine. Everyone loves it when their stuff is rifled through by their roommates. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, there wasn't like maliciousness. She was just kind of bored. Like, oh, hey, what's this? <laughs> She's waiting for them and not hearing from them. Yeah. Well, Nemi, you go through the checkpoint to get inside Oscar. It's going to take about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and then you meet up with them at the Cockatrice and Waffles. Good, I'm hungry. The rest of them are there, right? I'm assuming so. Oh, yeah. Tyr uses the time yeah, to wait. Yeah. I'm assuming that Kuda does not leave him alone. Nope. Yeah. If, if she got there and and couldn't see you, she would have immediately like gotten on her computer and be like, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> yeah, once... Once, uh, once they had the idea for for uh, cockatrice and waffles uh, in their head, Coda was like, "Yeah, we're we're doing this," mm -hmm. and was on a mission. I want you to waffles. Come <clears throat> this to me. Uh, as you sit down, uh, what 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 kind what kind of breakfast do you want? You could order anything you'd like. It's a deluxe house like, special. Like chicken waffles. Maybe maybe I'll get it with like a sweet potato waffle or a red velvet waffle or something. Yeah. Yeah, the red velvet waffle. That's what she would get. The place name does that. It's pretty good. And. and she would probably have a veggie omelet and half browns and put good tons of hot sauce on all of it. Fair. And uh, you hear at the end of the table as you're facing as you're facing the uh, uh, waiter that's taking your order, you hear behind you at the end of the table. I would like your grandson on him, please. Our Just grandson? What? Grand Slam. All American Grand Slam. This is Zenny's uh, after all, isn't it? What's what's an American? Hey, that's a good question. What was that? What's a Denny's? Oh, uh, it's just it's a restaurant kind of like this, but like, you know, not is it safe to go to it at three in the morning? God, three in the morning. That would be, uh, I mean, uh, oh, depends on which Denny's you go to. I'm sure there's some that are not. Hmm. Anyways, how are you for doing? It's been a while. Uh, we we had a movie. 
Yeah. yeah. Did you see our movie? Oh, I saw the movie. It was fantastic. You did amazing. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I have a little gift that was not uh, a mistake on my end to forget to have given it to you uh, a while ago. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. But uh, here's a little book. This little book, it's a magical item. Uh, it lets you make notes on uh, it. Well, not only does it let you make notes on all of the different uh, limit break items that you can get. Hope you have been enjoying that so far. Uh, but uh, that is where you, this little notebook is where you'll get all of the clues to find the other uh, items. Let, let me see that. Yeah, yeah, here you go. He hands it over to you. He's a bit distracted with food as well, so he's just uh, starts to write some of his uh, thoughts into it. Probably so he's just looking over his shoulder. So I will, let, I will let you know that there are three other books just like it. They are magically linked together, and they do have... Uh, but the only way that you can write into them to uh, communicate with the other books that I am invested in is if you... Uh, is if it's only talking about the Limit Break items. Cody grabs the book and tries to write but one best boat in it. It does not go in. As you're writing the boat one best boat, it, the ink fades. He just pushes it back to tear. I have a thesis I need to write. <laughs> I was writing a thesis. My thesis was boat one equals best boat. Nemi writes boat one best boat something about limit breaks. Like all those words. You should always write it in that channel. <laughs> but uh yeah uh th those uh other uh the other people that have the notebooks uh you will see them in two seasons from now hope you're excited for that it's gonna be a roaring adventure i'm setting you all up to eventually be an amber veil together a uh, question yes these these other boats um yes. how many how many of them have scholars on them Ooh, scholars. Uh, uh, I mean, do you mean do you do you mean in the sense like they've gone to school? Uh, school. You know, help being able to help parse this information pretty well. Uh, I think you're the only one that has been to like a formal education. I mean, some of them are literally illiterate. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean. They have other people on the boat that can tell them what those clues are. But they li but some of them are literal children that don't know how to read and or write. Uh, how many of them fall into this category? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, one, really. I mean, another one should fall into that category because he's like eight, I think. But that's normal for a species. Hmm. Well, yeah. Sounds, sounds like I'm gonna have some heavy lifting here. I mean, if you do the heavy lifting, then you could uh, find all the uh, find all the limit break items for yourselves. Uh, that is entirely. <clears throat> possible i do encourage a sharing of some kind uh whether okay. if you do find all of them i mean being open if, to a well, price if all the other boats are as uh, how can you say not educated while not being mean education should be shared it's not a, a selfish endeavor yeah, you can definitely help teach people. It'll be great. 
I've been researching a lot on how to teach people. Hey, well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, when everyone comes together in season five, I bet you're going to do a great job at teaching everyone. I appreciate your vote of confidence. Yeah. Keep uh, keep up in it. Keep uh, doing your best to strengthen it. Uh, I'm sure that season five won't be the only major crossover episode that uh, is going to keep happening. So, uh, yeah, if, if any mistakes happen, there will be more in the future. More mistakes? There will be more mistakes, yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, I mean, I do love watching the four, you four boats, so uh, mistakes do happen. Uh, How often do they happen with these other boats? Well, that depends on which one you want to talk about. One of them is a complete walking disaster. But what, like, happens if we talk with them? I mean, they might offend you. I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. From what I've seen, you got thick skin. But the, in all honesty, they, they are a walking disaster and a social disaster. So uh, I am excited to see literally anyone interact with them. Uh, yeah. Hope you all have fun. You sound like the anti me. You know, pretty much, yeah. And the anti Gan, technically. That's that's true. Gan's lucky. That's true. You have the social master and the luck master here. Are they like the polar opposite of those? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, those two are probably the polar opposite of you four. Huh. Yeah. How uh how how tough are these limit break things anyway? Like are we gonna are we gonna have to be like level thirty before we find these? Are they all oh, guarded uh, by like big dragons? Uh not all of them. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna get some, some are we gonna get some extra tips on uh, how difficult these guys are gonna be? I mean, that all depends on how generous everyone in chat is. And he looks off, to, mm. like, outside the window to where no one's actually there, and so it's jazz handing. Go to this guy's kind of weird. Do we hear some uh, canned 90s sitcom laughter? Yes. This guy's on a whole other level. Impressive since you can't have magic in here. Yeah, that is a good question. How did I get in here? How am I going to get out of here? Only time will tell, and that time is now. Bye. And he poofs away. Did he squat out of existence. He squatted out of existence. And maybe crashed my roll twenty. There he goes. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, uh, waiter comes back with your four dishes, and is uh, about a human, their mid twenties, late twenties, and like, you know, the squatting friend that was with you, he just squatted up, took his plate, uh, just sh opened his mouth, like unhinged his jaw to swallow all of it, and then left. For another level. This 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 guy. Um, yeah. Didn't yeah. he chew in front of you? Did his jaw look like it was doing squats? No. Hmm. No, he he was doing squats, and then he just swallowed everything from his plate hole. Hmm. He's terrifying. Hey, uh, hey, kid. What's your name? Uh, it, it's Carl. Carl. 
Yeah. Hey, have you uh, have you heard about this uh, Big Mondo movie? Uh, no, I, I don't think I've heard of Big Mondo. You should take ten of your best friends to see Big Mondo versus the Giant Crab. Oh, okay. We we just saw it t- last night. We were at the premiere. Oh, it was so good. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we could go go see Big Mondo versus the Giant Crab. Sounds kind of kind of uh kind of like a B flick, but like you know, B maybe. for best. Hey, okay. Well, you've convinced me. Yeah, we're gonna go see it. Yeah, right on. Good man. And uh, he gives you your food and uh, goes back to the kitchen. And now you have uh, uh, either now to uh, talk amongst yourselves or a whole day ahead of you to do whatever you want. Or reek. Um, yeah, I mean, I got stuff I want to do in terms of skills and crafting and stuff perfect Ooh, i just noticed the time so and yeah that time great uh all right mara you have plans lux do you have any plans for tears of guard for the week for a whole week for a whole week yes perfect Rimpto, do you have plans for Nemi for a whole week? Nemi has no plans. She would probably hang out with her family, but she could help with crafting if someone needs it and she can provide. I love that she's going to be hanging out with her family. Well, we will get to that, all of that, <coughs> after our intermission, because I realize it's five minutes till seven which is usually when we take our 10, 15, 20 minute intermission or so. And uh, one, a question that I have for you to answer when we get back from intermission is Ooh. if your character could make one tiny change to Evelys, what would it be? And to put scope mm. to this, the tiny change would be something like, I wish there were more walnut trees in the world. Okay. Yeah. And we'll uh, do that uh, after these break. So uh, see you all soon. Goodbye. Be- Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Steal the Skies. We got Boat One Best Boat over here. That's us. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. A question that... I left you all off on uh, before break is what minor change to the world of Evelys would you make? Would your character make? Tiny change. Absolutely something that has like no consequence to anything. Just a little flavor thing. Uh, Wimp Dork, we're starting with you. Oh, I didn't realize it was meant to be just a little like flavor thing. Oh, Cause, uh, cause what were you thinking for? Because Nemi would probably just want like, travel to be faster. Or, yeah, like... like so yeah. she could go around hunting and not have to be away from her family so much. You know, you know what? I'll take it. But sure, walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that you wish travel was faster. Uh, next up, uh, Morad is next, but I can go to Tears uh, to uh, Luxie. That was, oh. was going to be similar to my answer. Well, one of my joke answers, but I was going to say like 5% less gravity, so like we could all get sweet hops. Do you love sweet hops? Love it. 5% less gravity for sweet hops. Um, I, you know, because my my big answer was going to be like make it round. Not you know, <laughs> I, you know I know I know it's flat. Don't don't lump me in with those round evil easers. I know, 
But I think it would be cool if it was round. Um, my other my my other answer was going to be pay your artists, pay people to make creative things instead of being greedy. Now that sounds a little more like a statement than a thing to change. Well, well, hmm. I wish that people would pay their artists. That's, make a, stuff. that's the way to phrase it. Uh, yeah. Would you like to go with that or the 5% less gravity for sweet hops? No, we'll go with that. Okay. I'll, I'll keep the, I'll keep the gravity thing in my back pocket. Okay. There'll probably be another question that'll come up later for that. Sweet. Uh, let's see. People should pay their artists. Perfect. And Luxido, what is one tiny thing uh, that uh, Tears of Guard wishes that could change about Ivelisse? Well, it ties into uh, exact phrasing that you said to Wimdork of uh, flavor. Uh, Tear wishes that there would be even higher levels of hot of hot foods. Ghost peppers aren't good enough for him. Ooh, okay. You think Mr. Scoville was a a chump when it came to setting the levels? He's baby. <laughs> he he had a glass of milk next to him whenever he did this. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like that one. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you. Uh, your answers have been documented and may or may not be used in the future for flavorful purposes. Uh -huh. I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, I asked you all what uh, you want to do for the next week or so in the campaign. Nemi, you want to hang out with your family in Oscarn see the sights, go out on fun adventures, go to Universal Studios. <laughs> uh, we're going to Disney. We're going to the Star Wars bar. Yeah, you're going to the Star Wars bar, all right. <laughs> and Nemi's going to love every second of it. Absolutely. Uh... Coda, you said that you wanted to do some... Oh, wait. I didn't ask specifically what you wanted to do, just that you had a plan. Uh, what would you like to yes. do in this week? Coda's plan was... Um, Coda needs to find a teacher for thrown weapons um, and hopefully a book for armor smithing. Mm. And then increase skills in both. All right. Uh, what is your current rating in thrown weapons? Let's go with that first. Uh, current rating is none. None. All right. So you're going to need to take a beginner class. And yes. let's see if there is one available for you at the uh, hunting guild. There absolutely is one available for you at the hunting guild. So with that roll, can I get a uh, intermediate? Uh, that's... Uh, I guess this ties this ties to my other question because we we've been back and forth on this, um, and I want to make sure I, I understand correct. But like, um, if I'm learning, if I'm learning the skill from a teacher, not like in the wild, um, like just rolling a, a, a crit, um, do do I get double points there? For you, something that I have aptitude in? Uh, you do not get double points. This is strictly what the teacher can provide within the given time frame. Okay. Uh, so, because it is an intuitive skill, uh, it's just 200 gil. Uh, they are proficient mm -hmm. in it. Uh, which means, statistically speaking, they're probably going to succeed. Uh, we could even bring this down to a... Uh, let's see. 
a three day course. Yeah, this is, yeah, this, yeah. This could easily be a three day course for you. And yeah, within three days, you have twenty enthroned weapons. Yay! Uh, within those three days, Tears of Guard, what would you like to do? So, uh, first question is going to make it to where it's a little bit more complicated for you if you need to re-roll anything. Okay. What, okay. What does the cloth look like inside of Oscar? Uh, let me see. The Loire... Yeah, because I don't plan on taking the ship anywhere. Oh, I'm too lazy for that. Uh, the cloth is... Uh, yeah, it looks to match what is on the uh, Evilly Cities sheet, uh, Excel sheet that everyone should have access to. So, 78 tier Eight. 1 and 52 tier 2. I would like to buy out all the tier two. All right, all the tier two. That will be 30 times 52. I think that's 30, right? Yes, 30. That's 1,560 cloth. Tier two cloth, or gil. 1,560 gil for 52 tier two cloth. Is it technically okay if I take that out of the party funds? I plan on putting it back. Um, yeah. I think it should be fine. Uh, how much did you say exactly that was again? 2 Okay. So I have all this tier 2 cloth, right? Yep. So my goal is I am going to make Smaller size, but possibly a little bit bigger, of the size of, like, voice car merit, merit badge size. So, you know, just a couple of inches. And I'm going to be making various different eyes and nose and hair and mouths and clothing of different anime styles. To where people can buy them uh, piece by piece in order to build their own anime character to be sewn on cloth. So, like, a cosplay outfit? Uh, not like a full outfit, but, like, if if it were, like, on a jacket, it would be, like, over the size of about a shoulder, net total. But people can, like, a la carte buy the eyes that they like, with the, like, style and color, the hair style and color that they like, and all that. Build the build the best So it's, it's kind of like the paper dolls, but, like, a cloth version of it. Okay. All right. Do you want to break them down into individual uh, eyes and hairs to sell separately, or? Yes. the The goal is to, whenever I sell it, is build your own character. Okay. Okay. So it's like a, but like there's already some pre-made ones. It's not like a. I'm taking commissions. It's. The, the other way around of here's my stock feel free to bid what buy what you want and then like oh. while actually selling it offer the service of sewing it onto their clothes real quick for them okay but for yeah that's uh Ooh, yeah that's uh, yeah, that's uh... So, i know that's very intricate so i don't know how you want me to do the rules but that's what i want to do start up a new style all right then I would say that would be uh, 
Would you say that would be uh, two crafting points each or maybe four each? Uh, well, I don't have that up at the millisecond. I can get it up, though. So. Okay. Uh, two crafting points is six to 20 centimeters. Centimeters. Um, five is five is 20. 20. I'm thinking like the eyes would probably be somewhere between an inch to two inches. And then like the hair and the outfits themselves would be a little bit bigger. So kind of a, a mix. I know that's not very helpful, but. Okay. Uh, in that case, the eyes would be one crafting points each. Uh, let us focus on that. How many, how many of of sets of eyes do you want to make? Uh, how many crafting points total did I buy? 50 something? Uh, I know. That down. Oh, this is a word problem. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. You um, bought 52. I bought 52. Okay, I'm going to need. You know, I'm going to make it easier for the mathing. I want. Uh, Two crafting points for, like, eyes plus nose plus mouth. Two crafting points for hair. And then four crafting points for outfits. And then spread that as evenly as I can. All right, all right. Uh, two items that are uh, two items of two and then one item of four. So yes. we, we can do a full set of that. Mm. And if we need to pull from our reserves that are already, like bought on ours to make it nice math even out i'm okay with that i'm assuming everybody else would be okay with that yeah i need tier three stuff not tier two stuff all right it would be six and a half full sets like that i'm fine with six and a half because i'll give just have an extra thing of hair and eyes yeah uh let me Hair, eyes, outfit, oof. Seven, seven. Oh, that's going to be a lot of rolls. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured it would be a lot. And then I also assume I will need to add artistic value on top of it. So, like, I'm going to roll a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to figure out those rolls while I go back to Morat. Hey, hey. <laughs> Just let you do hey, your you thing. Do. Uh, all right. How much artistic value do you want to add? Um, I really need to pull up that sheet, don't I? Give me a uh, oh. so there's 50%, uh, plus 50%, plus 100%, plus 150%. Uh, with the modifiers of 0, minus 10, and minus 20. I, 50% is fine. All so right. it's not a new modifier, because my art is not great, because I only have introduction to anime. That's where I got my research from, because that was my art book, was drawing anime. Are, are you serious? That is canonically what you said it was. You know what? I probably did. All right. Uh, of all the people yeah. I trust on these small, tiny facts, I probably wanted to have one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of the people that I've known that have gone back to uh, uh, catalog all of this information, uh... Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, how? I thought it was being a haha funny, and I'm like, no, we're going to make this a thing. We sure are. All right. Uh, how complex do you want it to be? Uh, Is that scale of one to ten? That's based uh, off of tailoring, not art, right? Correct. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with taking a minus twenty on my tailoring, Ooh. or little less than to do that. A minus when you're tailing, tailoring would be a complexity of eight. So they're very detailed. They're very detailed. All right. In that case, uh, whew, okay. It would be, uh, amount wise. Uh, actually, let's see. How long would all of this take? Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's not a whole bunch of crafting points worth of stuff, so I'm assuming not very long for each individual item. Correct. 
Uh, I'm on it taking most of the week was my goal, honestly. Uh, it definitely will. Uh, the complexity of eight will turn your hair and eyes to three hours each. Like per one? Uh, yes, because it is a times three <laughs> modifier. We can... Let's, let's just drop it down to five then. Let's just let's make it a little, little faster. Okay. Uh, that will give us a plus twenty modifier. Oh, plus twenty! Sweet. Uh, dropping it down to five. Yeah. Nice. And so that will make it uh. Th- uh, just tell me the number of checks and I can do it and I can tell you what the threshold is. I figure that's probably the easiest way to do that. Yeah. Alright, so uh, I have it all calculated out. Uh, the amount. Seven sets of hair, seven sets of eyes, six sets of outfits. Our complexity oh. of 50% means uh, each of those will have an art modifier of zero. Uh, complexity of five means that each of your hairs and eyes will take 1.5 hours to complete. Uh, and your outfit will take three hours to complete with a modifier of 20% for all of those. Okay, my crafting is 72, meaning that my tailoring will have to be over a 92 in order to fail. There's my hairs. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, the modifier for uh success is plus 10. Oh, okay then it's 82 but still that's only one fail for the hairs all right i'll uh let let you get to let you handle that uh more at uh what are, gonna, what are you gonna do for the last half of the week um i think i misunderstood how this increasing skills things work um Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. If I wanted to, so if I want to increase my thrown weapons to thirty, um, I need to find another teacher or take a class with the same teacher or whatever. Um. Uh, but I can do that to go from from twenty to thirty, right? Correct. You can do that either with a new teacher or the same teacher or with a book. Right. Um, what I wanted to do was get a book um, on armor smithing, but I realized um, technically I would need two books on armor smithing, even though I have it. If anyone else wanted to use the level, the 21 to 30 book, they would also need to have access to a level to a 20 book. Um, I will never turn down possibility of researching, so I am fine with doing party fun. Um, so yeah, I was going to take that out of the party fun anyway. But uh, so if I um, spend the second half of the week uh, doing another thrown weapons class, um, and then I'd like to also try and find uh, a place that will sell me. Uh, an armor smithing uh, level 20 book and then level 30. All right, perfect. In that case, uh, you could definitely take the class uh, for the week and uh, uh, look for those books. First, let us see if we can find you a teacher. We are looking for 85 or below. We are able to find you a teacher. Uh, let Yay. us check if they are proficient in teaching that class. They are not proficient in teaching that class, which will just uh, be a minus 20. Uh, Dang. It will be 500 gil to take the course. Would you like to? That's going to suck. Um... No, because I was going to also try and do it in three days. Okay. So that's going to make it 
Well, if I do that, is that make it, is that uh, negative 20 and a negative 20, that makes it a 50%? Uh, yes. Well, uh, it would be negative 20 because I'm not proficient, plus 20 because it's intuitive skill, uh, negative 20 for inadequate time. So that would just be a 70%. Oh, then yeah, let's definitely do that. All right. That would be 500 gil. And let us do this. 70% or below. And, uh... I think I have a rule for crits, actually. You do have a rule for crits. It's uh, a breakthrough. Yeah, they're rating. You do it in less time. Half, half the time or something like that? Yeah. Uh, it is... Critical failure or... In the event of critical success, the character has unexpected breakthrough, having the time needed to learn the skill. Only one skill at a time may be learned in this manner, so... Yeah, uh, you learn it in a one and a half days. A day and a half. Yeah. yeah! Alright, so then I have a 30 thrown weapons? Yeah, you do. Sweet. And you're getting up there to um, be a pro Ulema player. Ooh! Yeah! Sweet! Um, all right, and then I want to take some time to then look for the books. Perfect. Cody needs Cody needs an armor smithing twenty one to thirty book, and would also like to find one, uh, up to up to twenty for the rest of the crew in case they want to learn later. All right, let's find that twenty one to thirty. We are looking for an eighty five or below, and we got an eighty. So you find a book. For 750 gil. Nice. I'm going to take that out of the party fund. And to find the other one, we're looking for 95 or below. And you're able to find the beginner armor smithing book for 300 gil. Yay. This has been a very successful week for you. Darn right it has. So let's look at this. Tears of Guard. You have one failed hair, two failed eyes, one failed outfit. Uh, yeah, because my uh, threshold would have been uh, 82. So I was just doing the stuff for you to let you know of what text technically failed. Perfect. The tailoring. Perfect. Which I believe that gives me enough materials to try another hair and another eyes. Um. Because the clothing is double the amount of the other two. Uh, so with making Monday, uh, mundane uh, items, uh, you can still make the mundane item. They would just be at a lower quality. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Then, yeah. Those are the actual numbers of the ones that are of slightly less quality. But I still need to do the artistic of them. Yeah. Uh, so I assume you just want me to do the bulk rolling? Yeah. Uh, since uh, there isn't any uh, extra modifiers, it would be uh, just your art straight uh, with no modifiers. Okay. And this is likely to fail, but that just means that I don't get the extra bonus, right? Uh, let me get this. I think there was a quick... I think there was a change. Oh. Uh. Oh, wait. I was looking at the art skill, where failing the art skill will decrease the value by half of the per value percent. Uh, botching the skill check decreases the value by that percentage. So, uh, let's say if you were to do it at a 50... Uh, at a complexity of five, where the time is, uh, where the modifier is an extra, sorry, where the value modifier is a 20%, and if you fail the autistic, then it would be a minus 5%. You know, I'm still okay with it, because, you know, YOLO, I'm, I'm rolling enough D100s, I'm bound to get some under 20, right? Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, double, double checking. If I actually wrote the rules. Okay, yeah, so uh, those failures, you do get 50% of the original crafting points spent back, and the botches, you get uh, none of the crafting points back. Okay, I think that there was only one botch. Uh, there's a 99 and a 100, so oh, there's... Oh, this... mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm only able to make one, try to make one extra one, correct? Uh, looks like it. Okay, here's my extra set for eyes, because I think I failed two of those. Okay, I made it. All right, you so, made it. I just failed one, I just one less of each. It's fine. Okay. So these are my, uh, this is for the hair, artistic. Uh, that's three crits. And three fails. Alright, so... Three, three. Yeah, that is three crits. Alright, uh... Let me write okay. that, that down while you get the other things. Uh, all of the eyes are fails. Every single one of them. No. And it is only five outfits, right? Uh, out of the outfits, it is uh, five, yes. And two crits on, and one success on the outfits. Two crits, one success, all right. That's a lot of crits. Uh, yeah. And I I am offering the extra service of sewing it onto people's outfits if they want. Whenever I go to actually sell them. Alright. Uh... So I don't know if I would possibly get a tiny bit of bonus for that tiny bit of extra effort. It's an optional service. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, so let us see. We have uh, out of six items. Oh, wait. We're okay. in... What was the question? Uh, any of these original ones? Are any of them crits? No, it doesn't look like it. No. All right, that will make this a little bit easier then. So we're at 120 modifier plus. So let's do the crits first. Or, yeah, let's do the crits first on the uh, hair. Uh, times five is a plus 20. Plus 20. Uh, modifier. Failing. That doesn't have a role of what happens when you crit an art. I will say that it doubles. Ooh. Wait, you didn't plan for critting on an art skill? There's a lot of things to write down. I forgot to write it down. No, that's fine. I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. Yeah. Alright, so that's 2.4 times 60 times three oh oh where did I do that oh wrong document for me to write that down on who oh boy so your crits for your hair is a total of 432 gil so that's 140. Uh, minus. Oh, well, so that's one three five times sixty. One three five times sixty 
times three. And for your uh, failed hairs, that's 243 gil. Uh, all the eyes were fails. All the eyes were fails. Good to know. <laughs> Let me speed that up a little bit for you. And yeah, it's the that's... same gravity, so I, it's what double the the hair. What was that? I said it's uh, it was six, and, and this it should just be double the amount that you just gave me, right? For the the hairs, because that was three normal. Or three failed arts. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be yeah. double that. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, the uh, amounts, the entire eyes, uh, when you sell that back, is going to be worth about the same as the three crit hairs. Yeah, it's just only 50 more. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Now for the the big ones, the, 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 the outfits. The big ones, yes. Yes, two crits, two fails, and one regular. All right, let's start with the crits. So that's going to be 1.5 plus 1.2. Sorry. Two. Uh, so it's one times uh, third. 20 times 2, 648 gil, that's very good, and then you have 2 plus, two plus twenty. Gil. And then you have one point two plus point two plus oh wait. Yeah, those are fails. Times twenty times two. Alright. I have the total gill that you get. Let me put them all together to double check to see how worth it was this entire endeavor. Hey, somebody's got to test out more of your new mundane item numbers, right? You know, it's true. And the good news is that even though there were uh, a good number of failures and a good and several items that were completely lost in the crafting, you did. You are in the black. So, uh, when you sell these items, they come, they will come out to a total, you have a total of 17 items that will come out to a total of 2365 gil. I made money. Woo. And when you get to, uh, buying and hawking higher quality items, that, uh, difference is going to go up. I'm just happy that I made something that didn't sell for five gold or five gil, and that's it. <laughs> right? And the potential of starting up a new fad of, you know, choose your own anime character. It's true. Uh, so, what is your trade skill? Because all of that took about three days to do. What is my trait? Like, my tailoring skill or my art skill? Uh, your uh, negotiation and your trade. Oh. Like, both or just one, which, whichever one's better? Uh, uh, well, let's see. Selling, selling time. So this would specifically be trade. I do not have trade. I have negotiation, though. Let us see if... Trade is learned. What do you like to learn it so that you can uh, go to a street corner and sell your wares? Nobody else has trade, correct? I'm assuming Marat doesn't. I don't. I have negotiation, I, no trade. I would like to purchase a book to learn trade so then we could all possibly learn it. 
Oh. Yay! Learning is fun. Learning is great. Yeah. Knowledge is half the battle. The other part of the battle is the battle. And part of the success is that nice number. Uh, since it's a learned, does that mean it's more expensive, right? Yes. Uh, it is learned, so uh, it is 800 gil to uh, acquire... Ooh, right! Oh, beans! Armor smithing, I believe, is learned. It sure is. So those two armor smithing books should have been an extra 1,000 gil. Okay, I'll fix it. Oh, we'll okay. fix it. We'll just add it to the mount. Yeah. Uh, so just put 2,800 for the total cost for that book. You got some discounts. I got overcharged by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I also put next to our common fund money the amount that I made off of the patches. If you want to do that calculation in two. Just so it's not double oh, dipping. Okay. We've had this problem before where we both try to do it and it doesn't work out very good. But the, needless to say, we have the money to do it, so good, we got it. So I guess I need to make my inquiry skill to see if I can uh, learn trade. Yeah, how uh, how much time do you want to spend on it? You do have, you do have three days to match uh, Kodas. I want to match Kodas. All right. How much money am I taking? Uh, it is not a bold skill, so you don't have to worry about that uh, negative modifier. So it is your in it's your inquiry skill minus twenty for three days. I got it. Hey, now you have low a rating of twenty and trade. And now, technically, I can try to teach it to people. That's true. Well, that is technically true. Is there a difference between him teaching it and us getting it from the book? Uh, instead of you doing your 20? skill, it's my teaching skill with modif appropriate modifiers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, until he has a rating of 50 in it, he will be considered as... Uh, oh, on my character sheet. You don't even have to think. Uh, until he has uh, 50, a, ra a rating of 50 in trade, uh, he would be considered uh, non-proficient in teaching it. And since it's, well, it's not a bolt skill, so it would just be minus 20? Uh, yeah. Plus, plus time modifier. So if we spent the 10 days to do it, I would be at a net neutral, so it would have a 33% chance of teaching you it. For free. Hmm. That's true. I, I really do have it all set up on my character feed, because <laughs> nerd. Well, if I crit on my uh, armor smithing uh, study, I'll have time to also try trade, I guess. That's true. Yeah, and you have that book. Yeah. Uh, in that case, what is your inquiries, uh, Coda? 40. 40. All right. Uh, that's right. Uh, in that case, to sync back up, it would be extreme time pressure since... Uh, Tears of Guard was uh, mm -hmm. crafting for three days, then learning for three days. You learned for three days, then learned for one and a half days. Yep. So I don't know if there's enough time to learn it. Well, uh, I mean, three days. We could do three days. Yeah, we could do a three day thing. Yeah. All right. Since you got the so book. So would that be my inquiry minus 20? Yep. Oof. That's rough. It's a hard one. Unless you're... It's the time commitment thing that's the big issue. 
I mean, if you fail it, you can just... Ooh. Or not. Wait, you have that much inquiry? Oh, wait. That's a plus 20. Oh, I did it wrong. It's a minus 20. I thought I hit. I think my thing is lagging here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> All right. I, I, you know okay. what? Fine. Say no more. I was ready to spend challenge points on it. I'm good. I'm happy. Fine. I mean, yeah, you have trade up to uh, 20. I, nope. I, nope. Nope. That's armor smithing is now 30. Oh, that was your armor smithing. Yeah, that was the armor smithing class. Oh, okay. In that case, yes, you do have armor smithing up to 30 or at 30. Oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> I, I mean, when the when roll 20 says, no, this roll is going to happen. Sometimes, most times, it's for bad things. Most times, it's <laughs> it like, really most, is. most times it's like, no, you're gonna fail this check. No, I don't care if you ha if you're allowed to re-roll it. You're failing this check. No, I don't care if the ch Twitch lets you re-roll it. You're failing this check. <laughs> but I, got, I just pulled a reverse Franklin. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Nicely done. Woo! Hooray! I know how to do armor now. Yay! Better oh, than so ever before. I added the books to our common sheet, too, so if anyone wants to use them, they can. Um, I'm happy to learn trade, but I won't have time to do it. Did like, you need me to make the yeah. trade check? What was that? Did you need me to make the trade check? Or uh, something? Not yet. Well, I think we might have time. Is a uh, you have an extra day and a half of that, so uh, if you want to start selling now, you can absolutely do so. Yeah. All right. And that Wait, are you saying that I shouldn't have added that money to our common sheet? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, this is all depending on how fast you can sell. Oh, no, this is how. So it's still the amount. It's just. Whether I sell of inventory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what the inventory is worth. Uh, in that case, uh, yeah, you can uh, spend a day, uh, roll a uh, trade skill plus 20 since you're inside a city. Can I assist with negotiation? Is that a doable thing? Uh, this would be during the last half of learning about oh, okay. smithing. I succeed. Succeeds. All I, all right. I successfully traded. Yes. So for that day, you are able to sell a total of uh, nine items that you have in your inventory that uh, of your stock. Now can Koda help me get rid of the rest of it? Uh, yeah. Uh, roll a trade and a negotiation, both at 20. Another plus 20. Yeah, plus 20. Didn't succeed. I did. I did. Let me go over here to make it to where I do succeed. Roll 20. <laughs> I mean... Twitch. You might need it. Well, that is a better number. I don't like the word better. Oh no. 78 is not a success, but you do still sell stuff at a uh on a fail. Uh the how, how much more inventory stuff do you have of your product uh you said i had sold nine 
And yeah. So yeah. I've sold. If I'm just going straight numbers, all the hairs are sold, half the eyes are sold. So I still have from the after the nine, I still have eight. All right. Uh, I would say it would take about all day for the two of you working together, but you could get the rest of your inventory out. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yay. It would, it would take a little bit longer, but I'll give it to you because uh, I want you to have it. You sold Yay. it. Yay. You can possibly it move for a new fashion yeah. thing. So, that's what you two have been up to all week. Uh, I'm going to move on over to Nemi. That's me. Uh, yeah, you've been out with your family uh, probably all week long. Uh, you have the normal, like, Universal Studios and stuff. Uh is there anywhere specifically that you have been to before that you would like to take them to? Wrestling, wrestling. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't think of any particular place. <clears throat> I mean, maybe a studio tour, but... Um... What kinds of events are going on right now? Well, uh, there is some wrestling that you can watch. There is uh, at the guild, at the Hunter's Guild Hall uh, bar. Uh, there is a... They are showing the Adasaster Fantastics game hosting, where they're hosting the Brugera Jackals versus the Ambervale Silent Patriots. Yeah, that's probably where we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch the Ulama on the bar television. Yeah. The also, it's the Hunter's Guild. That was going to be my other choice. It's like maybe hit the Hunter's Guild. Yeah. Uh, I've given it more thought, and I think the Hunting Guild would probably be the place that would have the kind of bar place for you all to hang out at. So, uh, yeah. It's definitely the, the kind of place that my family's more used to. Oh, yeah. Like, they're very familiar with the hunting guild in uh, uh, Adicester. In fact, do you think your family is the host that runs that specific branch of the monster hunting guild? I don't know if it's my mom's directly, but definitely some member of the family. Yeah. A relation. I, given that that is kind of your entire family's business, I mm -hmm. would be shocked if they didn't run the hunting guild. We have a thing, and we do it. You do it well. <laughs> And so, uh, they yeah. will, uh, seeing that there are, uh, people from the Adicester branch there that are asking to put on the Adicester game, uh, they will be more than happy to, uh, put on all of the TVs. Now, all the, all these TVs, tiny, puny. Of course. Uh, and... Black and white, not the best signal, but gosh dang, they're so exciting to watch. You can still see the little tiny blobs flipping around. Yeah, it's, it's enough to know what is going on. <laughs> and for this specific uh, match... Uh, that you were watching. Oh, I have some good news. Mm -hmm. The Adicester Fantastics won the match that you're watching. Did you just roll that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, everyone. Uh, 
crowds around your table and cheers with every point that the Fantastics get. And everyone celebrates once uh, they get the eighth point. Lots of hooting and hollering, and me and Bon Bon are sharing french fries. Yeah, french fries, chocoballs, and uh, drinks all around. What, what are, are chocoballs again? Those are the chocolates? Or no? Uh, Lux, can you help me with this? I don't remember full. Um, um, I remember it being more of a savory type of thing. I like, remember that too. Remember more because it like Fine general food thing. would be like hot dogs type of thing. Whenever you go to like a sporting event or whatnot, like that type of meatballs on a stick. Yeah, kebabs. Yeah, and usually with that, uh, there will be uh, different toppings that you'll put in the basket of choco balls. Mm -hmm. uh, like sometimes fish flakes. Some people put like uh, chips. Both the American understanding of chips and the British understanding of chips. Uh, Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch that uh, Winter Mist special between uh, Krista and Reverie when it was introduced. We have good snacks. Good sports. Yeah. And I'm sure my moms will gossip with the owners or the, the people who run this particular hunting guild. Oh, absolutely. Hunters are a bunch of gossips. I mean, they got connections. They gossip about both monsters and other hunters. Absolutely. Does the Sunshine Guild boost up Nimi any? We have taken plenty of jobs from here. Uh, they will mention that, uh, Boat One Best Boat, uh, the group that Nemi is a part of, is uh, pretty reliable with their jobs. And it's a pretty good boat. Uh, a good hunting group. So uh, to say the best boat. You, you could <laughs> say that. It is in their name. Uh, Nemi, you are able to overhear uh, the praise of you and your team while you're hanging out with Bonbon bon and your mom's... Uh, being like, yep, we raised her right. I can't wait to tell the others. Dear. 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 I'm in the middle of a sale. What? What? We're. The, the Hunter Skill thinks we're reliable. Okay, bye. Oh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll let Coda know. Does that Nemi? Like Tell Bon Bon I say hi. Bon Bon Coda says hi. Yay! Hi, Coda! Bon Bon! Coda! Coda! And she starts screaming into the short range communicator. <laughs> Good thing yes. it's noisy in the bar already. Oh yeah, it is noisy, but you can still hear Bon Bon. Of she course, is she has loud. A piercing little voice. Yes. <laughs> Poor tear. I hope your ears will be okay. Yeah, my big floppy ears. Are there any? Should I should I scout for any jobs while I'm here? Everyone, I'm, I'm fine with it. Are there any jobs? At this point in time, there are no tier two jobs in Oscar. Oh, okay. Sorry, we got a couple lined up. Never hurts to check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show yeah. hustle show that we're always ready for more work. 
may learn from you. Aw. Your moms do come back after a good amount of time uh, gossiping with the uh, guild hall host and others that are and other patrons within uh, the hall's uh, bar area. And uh, they sit down like so. Have you picked up any triple triad cards? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, Nami isn't really into those. Although, maybe she should be. Uh, bon Bonbon reaches, like, into her shirt and then pulls out a bunch of cards, and she's like, But they're so pretty! Sorry, Bon Bon, your princess is in another boat. Aww, but Emmy. We could play together! Real quick question: Do any of us do the triple triad? On, I think that's not really our boat, is it? Mm, I, I have a few cards, oh, but I don't get very many. Yeah, because I don't have any. It's never too late to start. I'm going to admire Bon Bon's cards instead and praise her. Those are so cool. Tell me about them. Well, I I got this one. This one came in the uh, Mo pack. This is uh, his name is Gildron. He's a stinky turtle. <laughs> We're doing the promotion with five five sixty nine right now, and total stinky, bad total. Do you not like that one? Well, I, the art's good. I like it, but like bad. He's bad, bad. in the game. Understood. He does really mean things. Honestly, he's a real monster. Because it's time to hum a card down. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Your mom's going to lean over and be like, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, her friend let her play that new, uh, radio TV game. And she saw some of the characters in the game shop and wanted it. And, well, she's been a little excited about it ever since. Honestly, the fact that uh, you have distracted her long enough to not talk about it so far on this trip is kind of a miracle. She's just too excited about all the new experiences and getting to hang out with her big sister. It... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't get to come to Oscaria or let alone Loar that often. So, yeah, this is a big trip for her. Bon Bon's gonna try and get your attention. And this this one's this one's Mo. Tell me about who's Mo? Mo I is one of the know. characters in in the game. She she uh, uh she's a Yuke and she uh does uh she talks to people a lot. Like a lot a lot. Like a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot. Like you a lot? even more than that well i mean more like more more than me a lot like a lot because you talk a lot to people i well yeah i like making friends well mo probably likes making friends mo's like me i don't know maybe ah do yay you to, do you want mo to be like you I think most kind of cool, yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Uh, for reference of anyone that's seen Fire Fight 69, she is not pointing at Mo. <laughs> Who is she pointing at? 
Uh, she's actually pointing at show. <laughs> no. Well, Nemi doesn't know any better. She doesn't watch. <laughs> See how pretty her hair is? It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I like them. Well, maybe when you're when you grow up, you can be like Mo. Yeah. And she's going to continue to show off her cards. I love it. <laughs> Nemi, will, Nemi will listen intently. You don't have to do every single one, although it is very funny. It It's fun doing every single one, but <laughs> we'll <laughs> leave it at that. Understood. <laughs> no, please, tell us about all of the characters, QB. <laughs> well, funny thing, <laughs> let me pull up... Uh, everything. Eh, that's too much. I'll do it another time. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Nemi's mom's gonna be like, so uh, I talked to the hostess. Uh, looks like your episode's actually going to be going up in two days. Two days? It just and keeps getting sooner and sooner. It just keeps getting sooner and sooner. That's, you know, that's exactly how time works. <laughs> But it seems even faster than the way time works. Hi. You're welcome. Hi. It's usually about. It's usually about. Yes, Lex. I was just giving a little time mage humor. That's all. Ooh, please do. As the time goes further and further, it's just like you're you're welcome. Glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> So I think um, what Coda wants to do is going to ask the Jackets to like clean up headquarters so mm -hmm. we can host a watch party there for the HGTV episode. Yeah. yeah. And they make will... It, make it look presentable so we can have people. And then we can wreck it after the party. <laughs> um, Tyr is actually going to propose the idea of some of the Jackets working on keeping the anime patches business alive as a further diversification of the jackets business model. Okay. Gren is going to uh, absolutely agree with Koda on a heartbeat. I'm like, we'll see what we could do to your, yeah. I mean, you two have clearly shown that you can uh, do a sell. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put the new recruits on it. We'll have ah. them all wear. We'll have them all wear them and see how they do. Yeah, have them if do something. Can... Have them do something important, but not like too important, you know. Right, right, right. 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 You know, we want to get the word out. Yeah, don't don't want them operating any heavy machinery just yet. <laughs> Not with their record. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, the day of the debut comes around. Uh, you're able to meet up with uh, Nemi's parents and Bonbon. Bon. Go to the Jackets hideout. And you see, it's very clean. They did exactly what you asked them to uh, do to uh, make it a nice uh, viewing party location. No one loves a clean hideout. What? I said everyone loves a clean hideout. It's true. Everyone a loves, everyone loves it is a happy hideout. <laughs> Uh, let me see if there's anything specific. Mm -hmm. Is there like a preview for a very certain other boat potentially? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, one that's talking about uh, 
race wars and stuff. No, I mean, what do you mean by a uh, preview? Like, whenever you get to the end of the episode and they're like, next time on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, episode opens up with, uh, the announcer that you recognize and the pool outside of your airship, uh, introducing, hi, my name's, I forgot what name I gave her, and I am here, uh, to, uh, meet a new hu monster hunting team. They go by the tie, by the moniker, Boat One Best Boat. Boat one best boat! We all yell boat one best boat! boat. Best boat. The, t the town of the pool has been uh, haunted by a wraith that has been doing... Uh, that has been uh, plaguing it with mischief for longer than the citizens would like. But... This team is here to uh, make sure that it that the uh, that the soul is put to rest. Let's go meet them now. And uh, it cuts to them uh, uh, knocking on the door uh, and the hangar bay opening up to uh, Gan and letting them inside. Uh, Ooh, Gan! Cutting to Gan, explaining like, "Yeah, uh, this is my crew. Uh, we're kind of hot shit. Uh, we just want to make sure. We just want to come to this town and help them out. We heard there was a lost soul that needed guidance, and we want to. Uh, we want to do our best." Uh, she introduces everyone in the team, and every time that she uh, mentions someone na someone's name, it cuts to their one-on-one uh, -on -one interview that everyone had, uh, explaining who they are, what they're interested in. You can I'm see sure that there were, everyone. yeah, uh, you can see that there were parts from each of, from each or some of them that were cut to make it like uh, progress. And to make it uh, more uh, flow better. Mm -hmm. So there might be some parts of an explanation or uh, something that someone's showing off uh, that they wanted to see on the T on the show, but didn't make it. Uh, did, did at least the advertisement for the movie go through? We'll get to that. Oh, but... Uh, did we sh did they get the part where I showed off my Nemi figurine that she uh, made for me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, did get to show off the part where uh, and conversations and just general vibe of the team getting along, being a uh, just loving each other's company, uh, and it's a very wholesome episode so far. Then uh, it uh, cuts to them at night uh, outside the ship. Uh, she announces to the camera, well, it looks like the introduction to the team has uh, ended. We will, uh, we have introduced them to what the, uh, what the mission is at stake and tomorrow we will uh, prepare to hunt the wraith. And then it goes to commercials. Uh, you can see a bunch of uh, local things going on. Uh, local commercials that happen. Some national, some international. Before it cuts back to uh, the uh, camera crew uh, reintroducing. Last time we met up with uh, Boat One Best Boat and we are off to see uh, how they handle the investigation phase of hunts. Because as we all know, uh, learning is half the battle. 
and they followed you, uh, talking to the uh, bank tellers, the uh, woman who had her uh, child uh, go missing, the priest, uh, and uh, uh, after gathering this information, they uh, cut to uh, uh, the fake crafting that you did because uh, <laughs> you didn't do the crafting on screen. Uh, you did it the night before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, to people that don't know, uh, they would be like, yeah, they're definitely crafting. But to those sitting in the room and Nemi's mom's they're all like, uh, the two of them are like, <laughs> those are empty pots. There's nothing going on in there. This is funny. Uh, and they're uh, narrating, uh, sum uh, summarizing uh, what we have learned. And, uh, uh, and uh, talking to people, but with the... Uh, there are some lines that seem like they weren't, uh, that you don't remember saying. They're not bad lines per se. Uh, they're just lines of like a little tension between uh, some of you, but nothing that really like gets in the way of the makeup of your team. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to cause like a five second drama. Uh, before cutting to uh, watching Nemi uh, cut some wood and take out a tomato all by herself. Nemi's so strong! Yay, Nemi! <laughs> Just a tomato. Uh, then it cuts to uh, the uh, night time where they announce that uh, they are off to uh, find the Wraith uh, to put an end to her shenanigans and let her move on. Uh, it cuts It cuts the part where the announcer person was kidnapped, but does get when Nemi's kidnapped. Uh as they are trying to talk to the, uh, I think it was a bishop or a friar at the, uh, at the Ferris yeah, church. The church. Uh, it's a friar. Yeah. And, uh, then, uh, it cuts to, uh, them uh, being able to I actually don't remember how were you able to find the cave uh, we used the two ways and tears tracking yeah I tracked it yes perfect yes uh, you able to track it you're able to uh, get to the uh, uh, get to the cave where you, uh, the camera pans up to the small crevice or the small hole where you could hear Nemi, uh, shouting out. Uh, Coda, Coda's gonna turn to Bon Bon and be like, Your sister was so brave. And, uh, you can see that their, their first, that the team's first priority is try to get. Nemi and the child out of the uh, out of the uh, caved in wall before they were attacked by the wraiths and uh, with uh, with some quick ingenuity tears of guards able to neutralize fake wraiths that apparitions of the way wraiths that appeared and uh, declared that the bright lights are what uh, or what neutralizes those. To which Coda uh, quickly picks that up and starts doing the same. And with that, uh, 
throughout, they keep showing, uh, keep zooming in on Coda, looking up at uh, the real Caroline and pleading to her, come on, uh, you know you're not like this. Uh, I know you're in there somewhere. You're in there somewhere. And uh, whether it's a... Uh, trick of the camera or a little bit of faking information or maybe there was a little bit on her face that you can't see during the fights when the camera zooms in uh you could see coda's words just slowly getting to her more and more and what looks like she's trying to fight it until she is uh she tr she she fails to land significant damage uh especially thanks to uh nemi's healing uh and so she uh grows weak to which coda tries one more time with the help of tears of guard pulling out uh symbols that would help caroline remember herself before uh she poofs into uh less of a ghastly giant wraith and more into just a spectral visage of what she used to be. Uh, there was a little bit of extra editing onto that to make it look more flashy of her transformation, but uh, the only people that would know that are the people that were in that cave. Yeah, it's radio TV for you. It's radio TV. Uh, and they hold Caroline close, tell her that uh, it's time to move on, that she was uh, loved, she was a she was great individual, but she needs to move on past this life. And she floats away. Uh, afterwards, uh, uh, Coda and Gan are doing their post-battle interview, talking about how it went, uh, how smoothly it was, uh, given that it was their first hunt. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, usually, hunts do not go this well. And in fact, when the monster is defeated, uh, Nami's mom's comments on that, they're like, wow, oh, dang, you barely took scratches on you. Whew, okay, dang, okay, great. Like, we knew that you crew, that the four of you were fantastic together, but like, damn. That's why we're the best boat. You're, we are the best boat. Boat one, best boat. boat. One. When pro hunters say you guys are awesome, that means something a, a lot. Mm hmm. Uh, and they go through the interview, how it went, everything. Uh, barely was edited from what was in the actual episode uh, and then they kept rolling while walking out of the cave with everyone uh, Jeremy was uh, I think that was the name of the kid was with everybody yep. yeah uh, and they ended the episode outside of your ship uh, recapping Thank you. Did they do the moment with, with Coda saying to Jeremy how brave he was? Yes. Yes, they did. Thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they are ending the episode outside of the ship, uh, talking about uh, how, despite all odds of this being their first hunt, they handled it amazingly. And they said that they haven't uh done or really watched how hunts are supposed to be so uh congrats on them we are excited to see what they have in store uh, in the next hunts in the future of the hunting guild uh i do have a note from them before we sign off and that cuts to you cutting the promo for big mondo versus the giant crab yeah and then cuts back is like, and that's been the Hunting Guild TV. We're signing off. 
have have a good hunt. And then the episode ends, credits start to roll, and then there's a picture in picture uh, <laughs> where that says, next time on HGTV, The Great Hunt. Cuts to a Gria talking to a uh, Viera, uh, kind of from behind a corner. It's like, and you can't really see their mouths, so you don't know if they're actually saying this, but you hear them like, yeah, no, I don't like him either. Like, we we, we got this one job, and then we're out of here. Cuts to a 14-year-old saying, listen, I'll kill any dog. I'll kill <laughs> any person. I'll kill anyone. <laughs> and then cuts to... Uh, the uh another announcer like next time we have a very unorthodox crew that should not in any case succeed on their mission but will they the answer may surprise you until next week yeah that kid's wild we gotta get him in the jackets just put him on a street corner and no one will mess with us. <laughs> He's got so much uh, uh, charisma's not the word. Uh, mm, <laughs> gusto. Yeah, yeah. Could be fun. What did you think, bombs? You all did amazing. That was, Are you right? yeah. Like, honestly, for your first hunt, we we know that you've hunted before, so probably something that we knew that we know you and know that you could have uh, done it well. But we never met your friends before, so we didn't know exactly. Uh, and we heard that you did fantastic. You all did amazing. They're the best. Yeah, you are. Usually, a first hunt goes with, like, three failures, hit the drawing board three times, then you get it on the fourth try or something like that. Uh, and sometimes that makes for, a lot of times, that makes for great TV. If you want to get more ratings, uh, might want to try that for your next one. Even if you can get it in one. Hmm. Fail on purpose? If you make it look convincing, HGTV might give you better ratings and might want to bring you back for more. And will probably that's give fine. It's it's counterintuitive. It's weird. We're not the TV execs. They they, they only care about what makes for a good story. That right there, how you, you could have, I, I'm sure you know, at least in hindsight, that that being a wraith, you could have just phoenix down it and you would have uh, taken it out in once in five seconds. But that right there, how you pled with the, with the ghost of Caroline to come back and to see the error of a raise and uh, do better? That's good. <laughs> I've got an intuitive understanding of drama. That's good. I it, just like hunting. You're right. Uh, just want to let you know that sometime in the future, HGTV might ask you to take the fall. And that that's up to you depending on how much more hunting you want to get done through the guild. Mm. That sounds but like, so weird. It, it's weird. We know. Like, we are pretty familiar with the guild. We are world-renowned hunters. But that doesn't mean we haven't taken a fall for the entertainment factor. We've all done it. No. If it's good enough for wrestlers like Big Mondo, we'll see. Right? 
But in, you know, <laughs> we're just too dang good. You're too good. Although they did cut out the whole part about that fifth party member named Morgie, who we lost in the hunt. And at this point, Code is going to turn uh, towards Bonbon bon and say, they were caught by the Tickle Monster! And uh, Code is going to chase Bonbon. Bon. She is going to scream and run around the compound, just ah! as you chase her around. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that visual. It's <laughs> so big. I also and love, so little. I also enjoy the uh, mental picture of Bonbon going so incredibly fast and Coda is so incredibly slow. Coda is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> She's just, well, she dies, but just. She could easily just run laps around him and not have a problem. But you know that even if he wasn't slower than her, he'd they you know, they'd still go slow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you have to let the kid get away. Yep. It's true. Uh, how you all feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. Still good. Got a lot to do. Good, because that should be it for today's episode of Boat One Best Boat. <laughs> <laughs>